Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura. Um, if you have never seen my YouTube channels before, I kind of travel around a bunch of different places while I'm hiking and shoot a video about something about my life, whether that's travel, grief, or anything in between. So thank you for stopping by. Make sure you subscribe if you have not already done so and give this video a like. So I have been a kind of digital nomad, worked abroad, uh, not worked abroad, but brought my work with me abroad um, for about two and a half years. Um, I did kind of come back um, to North America and even to Arizona, even like maybe for like a month here and there, just kind of to take a break and to switch my clothes out. <laughs> and um, over on my Instagram, I still to this day get so many questions. I think the number one thing was, was if you don't already know me, um, my husband passed away two and a half years ago. So I think a lot of people thought that I might have some like money saved up or anything like that um, and that's kind of that's kind of how I was traveling um, but the thing was is I actually only took off two weeks after James passed away um, and then I kind of got right back into work so um, I am throughout this video I'm gonna kind of talk to you about what I do I'm um, kind of give you some tips and if you would like some additional resources you can just send me a message I'll be happy to get that for you and then just kind of some if that's not actually your route that's totally fine you kind of can just um, Hopefully this, if, if it, you are interested in doing it, it'll spark ways of how you could do it even with your job right now, or it might make you realize you want nothing to do with that and just want to take your paid time off and that's perfectly fine too. So um, I actually, before James passed away um, for six months, we actually went on a road trip around the US. So that was super awesome and I, I absolutely loved it and highly recommend it. Once he passed away, um, I went over, I, I first went actually over to like the UK had such a blast and I think that's why I love Scotland so much is partly I am Scottish so it's kind of cool but at the same time um, it kind of just actually allowed me to see that I absolutely love solo travel like it's so much fun uh, you meet people from all over all different areas in the world and um, it just was it just was like a great great experience so from there I went around Europe um, a couple different times actually um, and then I've gone over to Asia for a while and then South America twice and I'm gonna be heading back over to South America at the end of this year so I'm super excited but just kind of me in a nutshell and why I kind of love love solo travel it just like it allows you to see different cultures you actually like what do I feel like doing today there's no one else that you need to kind of be, uh, I don't know, working around. So you do exactly what you're doing. But um, I do combine my work with my travel. Um, I always knew going into it, the biggest perk was that I can go, I have so much freedom, I can just go to that country, I don't need to ask my boss for time off or anything like that. Obviously the biggest con is that I'm still working while I'm on the road. So I do work full time, um, but I it's completely, it's just like whenever, I want to be putting in those hours kind of thing. So I have a lot of flexibility and freedom. And that's something that I looked for um, in a job. I, I find that a big perk for myself. I know I, I'll meet a lot of people on the road and they'll be like, I, I cannot imagine like needing to go to, into work today, kind of finding a coffee shop and working today. But that's just, it just ends up being your groove. Even though you're in a new country, you still have a groove every day. Like mine would be getting up, getting like an hour of work done, maybe going, going for a run or something like that. Then normally there'd be some sort of walking tour or something that I do at noon. Um, then I'd probably go 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 find a coffee shop for for a while, um, find some people to have dinner with, maybe get a bit more work done, or go go see some maybe a play or I don't know something like that. Um, so I, that's something that I really loved. Um, I now actually officially live back in Arizona. I was. I did not have an actual address for um, almost three years, but as you can tell, I still am traveling like almost nonstop. Um, but I do, I have really honestly enjoyed having a place, but I would not change anything out of the, the three years. And I'm glad that I didn't have a place at that time because uh, then I didn't have to pay rent. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, so basically what do I do? I do online marketing for small businesses. I'm more the copywriting. Um, so like blogging, website, uh, writing people's websites, not actually the development, the more of the copy and then social media for um, different clients. Uh, most of those organic posting um, and just 
trying to get you guys to buy stuff. <laughs> so um, I absolutely love what I do. All of my all of my clients are long term. Um, I'm never someone who I just want to like take on, on a one time project. Um, just getting that client can and it obviously be a lot of work. But I, I've formed really great relationships with all my clients, and I'm very very thankful for each and every one of them. Um, but uh, I, a lot of my clients are more in like the health field, but at the same time. Um, I honestly enjoy having different niches out there. Just kind of like whether one day I'm writing about real estate and then the next is more dental or anything like that. Just kind of keeps things fun. So I honestly do have a background in uh, marketing and, and uh, I have my undergraduate and master's degree in communication. Um, and then how I got started though too. So that did assist me um, not only with my education, but also just kind of like a resume builder. Um, I actually answered a, my very first client. I had a, a part-time job when, when we moved. Um, and then I answered a Craigslist ad, which I'm going to get into that. Um, and, uh, I, I went out and I like, honestly, I got along with the guy super well, totally met him at a safe place. He was a real estate broker and he actually traveled a ton too. And that's partly what kind of like got my mind in it. Um, and I, uh, yeah, I just started doing some marketing for him on the side. I remember he was kind of like, okay, just like, I'll check to make sure you're doing it, but just kind of like, just go, <laughs> go, go start doing it. And then he's like, I'll, I'll direct a deposit you. I think it was like $500 a month. Um, and I was just doing, a, you know, a few things and it, it was just kind of like on my own schedule, whenever I wanted to kind of get those things done, a lot of it could be scheduled ahead of time and I would just be doing it from the comfort of my own home. And I absolutely loved it. Like completely fell in love with it. Um, from there, it kind of was just this hardcore side hustle of this is what I want to do. And, um, how do I get, make this a full time kind of thing? Um, I joined a lot of Facebook groups, um, for my specific niche, which I would really highly recommend. Um, I think that I joined like a social media managers one, which is really big now. I really actually prefer one that's like just a few thousand. It just makes it really helpful. Um, keeps the trolls out. <laughs> um, but I, I did, um, and that, allowed me to kind of network I, if I if I knew an answer to one of the questions and that kind of just like got my name out there I would do that for like an hour a day every day um and that honestly like uh answering the questions but also just like reading them it just educates you more than you even realize so that was absolutely amazing um once I I then, I'm trying to think, uh, honestly, like I, I did do a few Craigslist and um, I, I, I honestly would recommend it. There's actually some great things out there. A lot of small businesses need, need people. There'll be, you know, the marketing slash PR. I think that's what it says. I haven't done it in a while and I've, uh, and, and I think it's just like starting out and getting experience is going to be less pay. But I mean, it, it, like I said, it gives you experience. Just make sure you're, you're meeting them something that are like super safe. Like mine was always a, a coffee shop or inside their business where I'm already verifying that it's their business. I also would tell James where I'm going exactly what time or he would drop me off or just something to make sure it's like because it's craigslist like one side of you it's like it's craigslist like it's not a big deal like everyone posts on craigslist but then you're kind of like it's craigslist <laughs> but i actually had really great experiences but just be safe about it um and uh i'm trying to think and then and then kind of once i would if i had like a really great client i would ask them for referrals and i would kind of give them deals um either that's like a week off uh free of work or anything like that um trying to get more clients and that actually like ballooned me very very quickly um anyone who kind of actually does similar work to me you might like maybe they are more on the web side of things and they know i'm more on the social side of things and like if they got someone and they're like, oh, I don't do that part of it, but my friend Laura does and, and shoot me over something. And just like staying on wonderful terms with like everyone in the industry. Um, that honestly is basically how I get clients right now. Um, a lot of people will be like, where's your website? And I've never even had a website. I know that sounds crazy, but to me like that, that just like, then I have to raise my prices because that's going to cost something. And, um, for me, I'm just kind of like, I'm just, if I can be word of mouth and, and do a great job for you guys and, and not be super expensive, then it's a win, win, win for everyone. Um, so that's just kind of always how I've looked at business. Obviously you can look at it in a million different ways. 
Um, I would also say there's a lot of like really great webinars. There's great, there's courses that are even free. There's courses that are inexpensive that you will honestly learn a lot from. And I would totally recommend those. A lot of times like a new course will also like give it to you either for a huge discount or even free. If like you'll give feedback and like a, a great, um, uh, review on it or anything like that. There's so many ways to get information. Um, and then I have met a lot of people along the way. Um, they ended up asking like their job um, if they could do it remote. And uh, that might seem scary, but if you, you know someone in your job that uh, does their job remote, um, there's, and, and they, and you're a great person, they're probably going to say yes. Or um, maybe if you're threatening to go ahead and you can say, or you can give it to me remote, anything like that. I think one of the biggest things is um, to like, depending where you want to go. I know a lot of digital nomads will like head to Southeast Asia. It's, it's, uh, inexpensive there cost of living wise and um, yeah so a lot of people will head there um, I did want to definitely like check out Europe most of you probably know a lot most of Europe's a lot more expensive than Southeast Asia um, so that just ends up being budgeting so for example when I was in Copenhagen compared to Vietnam whoo <laughs> it's a lot of a price difference but for me I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good with my money and I just try to always stay on a budget so it's kind of like if I'm going over here um, uh, to this place, like Copenhagen, I know I'm gonna wanna try to cook more of my meals or eat more PB&J. <laughs> um, but then when I'm over in Vietnam, either that can be me, I'm gonna have kind of have the same budget, either that can be me living more lavishly or like staying in a nicer place or whatever it is, or uh, it can just be that I am putting more in my bank account. Um, so that's, a, that's always a really great thing. So. Um, I think basically that's all I kind of want to cover. I just kind of wanted to cover the basics. Like I said, if anyone has any further questions about it, um, you are definitely welcome to send me a message on Instagram or on here. I'll make sure to leave my Instagram handle below. Um, if you found this video helpful, please make sure to give it a uh, thumbs up. It not only will be awesome, but it'll help me out too. And I appreciate that. Make sure you subscribe as well. So thank you so, so much. I will be heading north um, this week. Um, and then it's only a few more weeks till Mount Whitney. So I've been training hard for that. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and make sure you keep living life guys. Bye.